Hello everyone. I have finally managed to go live, having a few technical issues. Hopefully it's all working and the lights are good, batteries aren't flat, hopefully you can hear me, let me know how the video and audio is. So it is October and that means it's Hacktoberfest, where if you apply to GitHub and Digital Oceans Initiative, you can then get free swag by completing just four pull requests. I mean four, that's pretty easy, right? It's the 8th of October, you should have done probably five by now. Okay, we'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Let's say we're, what, a third of the way into the month or a quarter of the way into the month. Hopefully you've at least done one, but don't forget there is a limitation this year to the first 50,000 uh, people who complete the challenge. So therefore, you should get your pull request, your four pull requests as soon as possible. Don't leave it until the end. So, we just had a question in the chat, thank you very much, from Lebanon as well. Uh, hello family and friends in Lebanon, from sunny London, although it's been raining all day. Ah, oh, cool, thank you for confirming the sound and video and all is good. How can we contribute to Android um, projects? And I think that's uh, four per day is the target. <laughs> well, well, Kush is doing that actually. Kush, if you're watching from India, Kush has done so many PRs for the Dashboard Hub project, which is awesome and she's doing kind of like f almost four per day or well, at least four per two days she's doing really well uh last year was only 45k who completed it right oh really i didn't realize the, the maximum wasn't reached i thought the maximum was reached so going back to the previous question about how do we find android projects to contribute to so there are a few ways you can do this and i think you should try and diversify your resource into finding how to do this so one way is let me share my screen. You can just, if I go to my desktop, hopefully this works and you can kind of still see me in the corner if I do a bit of a wave. You can still, you can search by Java or uh, any other language that you're using on the Android platform, any other kind of JVM languages that support it. You could do that, but you're gonna get a whole raft of projects. You could search for the word, I guess, Android and hopefully they've put Android in the, in the title or somewhere else in, in, the, in, the re, in the kind of, I guess, in the code base. I mean, if I search, and not Andrew, Android. <laughs> We're typing Andrew too much on chat. Uh, so uh, Android is, da, 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 da. okay, this is the actual project itself. And you're getting people who have got Android in the title, which is not always, I guess, the case. I mean, there's own cloud. I guess if you've got an organization like own cloud or next cloud or any other open source organization, they will have an Android app. So you could get involved that way too. You could um, filter by language, Java, so you could um, re reduce results that way. It depends what sort of projects you want to get into, I guess. Do you want to get into the really big ones like own cloud Android or um, Android itself, because that's open source too. You could also speak to your friends. Have they got any, any projects going that you can join in if they're gonna be a lot smaller projects? Or in the middle, you have people tweeting about their open source projects. So I had uh, one of the GD, GDGs, I can't say that, that is the hardest thing to say. And English is my first language and my only language and I still struggle with that. I don't know how people who don't speak English as a first language can say that. But anyone, no, no, no. someone contacts me from GDG in Tangier in Morocco, hopefully I've named that correctly. And they've got an open source project. They've got a few open source projects they want some contributions to. So we're gonna try and do some contributions to that today. But so being active on, on Twitter and seeing uh, what other people are sharing about their contributions, then you can contribute to those projects. Because you really want to contribute to the projects that are really inclusive. You don't want that have a nice welcoming environment for you to, to work on. You don't want to go to the, so there are some toxic projects out there and you want to avoid those like the plague. But I think you'll notice those really quickly. That I've seen, I've really rarely seen a bad project. Most of them have been good. So well done open source community. That's uh, pretty awesome. Uh, the King blog. Hey, sorry, Eddie. How can I contribute to cybersecurity? Wow. Okay, cybersecurity. I think it's very similar into what I was just saying about other projects. Um, so, sure, I can give you some ideas and suggestions. So, another way to search. We've got OWASP. They do a lot of security stuff. Their stuff's done in Java. So um, that's quite good. So if we go to the OWASP organization, and uh, yeah, cybersecurity is, is a huge, huge subject. So you've got OWASP, one of the you know big players in the cybersecurity space. 
they've got loads of projects. We've got HTML, CSS, I know they have some Java ones, or they've got some Python ones, uh, more Java. Their main project, I think you can filter uh, their projects, so you can filter by type, so let's just say sources, but you can also filter by language as well. Um, how's my uh, green screen doing? I think you have my mic slowly in the corner. Let me just shuffle that out slightly. There we go. Um, so you can filter by language if you if you need to as well. But all their sources, the projects they haven't fought, the projects that are theirs, they have their main project is Z attack Z attack proxy, which I think is written in Java as well. But you can see they've got 20 pages, and that's in cybersecurity. So. And you know, Andrew's giving the thumbs up with OWASP. I would get involved in that. The OWASPs are, are it is huge. Definitely have a look. It's not a space I'm highly involved in, but one day probably. I know some of the people at OWASP, and they are they are awesome. They're really good. So uh, people who need help with their projects were adding Oktoberfest to their titles. I think so other developers can find them fast. That's uh, I think a really good good idea. And also adding like if I go to my my project, I think adding the tags might help as well. So I have added some issues um, a while ago. I probably need to update this, but good first issue. But you could do a Hacktoberfest issue. Actually, I'm going to create that now. That's actually a really good idea. Therefore, if I think of anything later this month, I can give it that, that label. So if I go to label, and we can promote this now, right? So let's have a look. Uh, capitals, lowercase, Hacktoberfest. So I think I'm going to create that. Um, what color could we use for that? I have no idea. Pink. It's quite bright, quite. Hacktoberfest is quite blue, though, right? Let's have a spin. I think it's blue. The website. Uh, no worries. I uh, hope that helps. Keep the questions coming, and I'll try and help. And we're going to make some contributions today. And if I find any that, that you want to do, uh, then by all means, just say in the chat, and I won't make the contribution. And you're more than welcome to have it. I think it's one of those things where you just get started, and if you just do some simple contributions like typos and very small things you'll get used to that flow and it just, you know, you just get past that. And I can see my time machine is doing a backup. Thanks. No, skip that. So, uh, I really like the idea from putting the label. That might be the wrong green. What's a blue? Anyone recommend that? Oh, I had a blue. I skipped past it. Damn it. Trigger happy on that click. What's a good blue color? Andrew, you know the colors, the hex colors off the top of your head. And what other questions? Um, I'm a Python backend developer, uh, Flask, and I want to uh, become more full stack. What do you recommend start looking to get into front end? I want to be quite biased, and I'm sure Andrew will back me up, but I recommend getting to front end, just get started, maybe try the HTML, CSS, and some JavaScript, maybe a bit vanilla all round, and then pick a framework. As you probably know, I highly recommend Angular. I think it's a really good framework. There are some others available. Vue, I, I haven't done, but we're going to make a contribution to a, a, a third party Vue library. And then there is the React, which is very popular, but it's just a library, it's not a framework, so it depends what, what kind of project you're building. Orange for Halloween. Oh, I like it. Nice. Okay, orange. Do you want to, anyone give me the hex color for orange, or I'll just keep flicking through and trying? There was an orange before. I should know orange, because Dashboard Hub has an orange. Color. Let's do the dashboard hub orange. I've put that in assets, I think. If I scroll down, I have the orange down here. Okay, how does this orange look? Yeah, that looks good. It looks very Halloween. Uh, Hacktober fest um, uh, with Halloween colors. Cool, there we go. Create label. So if we find anything, we can add that to it. Awesome, thanks for the suggestion, love it. So, uh, right, what's next? Uh, one more question, I'm from uh, BTEC. Oh, BTEC, first year, and I don't know anything about what Hacktoberfest is, can you please explain? Yes, great question. So, Hacktoberfest is, let me bring up the, uh, the website, Hacktoberfest. So, it's a joint project by DigitalOcean and GitHub, and there are other companies, and I'll bring that up in a second. Hey, from India, so you've got Lebanon, you've got India, you've got UK, where's everybody else from? So I know we've got Andrew from UK, I'm in UK as well. Where's everybody else from? In the chat, just put your location, it's great to bring everyone from all around the world, online, talking about open source, geeking out, and it's Hacktoberfest. So yeah, GitHub and DigitalOcean will give free t-shirts and stickers and a bit of swag 
um, if you create four pull requests, it's really easy, just, just four pull requests, uh, and they can be quite easy. And I have actually got, if I go to my GitHub account, and don't forget to follow me on, uh, on GitHub, and obviously subscribe to the channel, I've got a button here on my stream deck which should ping you a message to say subscribe. Jonah, where are you now? You're traveling all over Europe. So are you in Albania or in Czech? You're, you're everywhere. So you can probably write down five locations where you're from, but thank you very much for joining. So um, another UK, India, awesome. So we have, uh, yes, this is my, uh, my GitHub page. I was gonna say my YouTube channel, it's not my GitHub page. And um, I have this repo at the top called Hacktoberfest Practice. So if you haven't done any pull requests for Hacktoberfest and you, we haven't really done many pull requests and you wanna get into the flow of it, then what I suggest you do, the instructions are in the readme when you scroll down, but the whole point of this repo is just to add your name to the bottom and a link to your GitHub account. And that will get you to understand how you do a fork, create a pull request, and then it gets merged and you get a notification it's being accepted and so forth. And it just keeps creates that whole flow and it'll help you practice. So I suggest doing that if it's your first time. But if you've done pull requests before, if you've forked a project on a pull request before, then I suggest you get straight in and, and don't, uh, don't do anything so simple. But also Hacktoberfest, Hacktoberfest, oh I can't spell, um, oh, not Dishlotion, but there is, let me remove this link, there is uh, another website, well, there's a few actually, where there are other companies doing, um, yeah, swag list, this is the one. So you can see all these companies doing Adobe are in there, Circle CI, but Microsoft were in this last year, but they didn't join this year, which I'm quite surprised about. However, if you, if you sign up to those, um, uh, those companies for Hacktoberfest, you have to contribute to one of their projects. Whereas with um, the actual official Hacktoberfest, it's any four open source pull requests to any open source project. So it's much more inclusive, diverse, loads of buzzwords, but much more open, I should say. So um, another, another from India, uh, I'm in Czech, originally Albania, you're all over the place. And we're waiting for you in the UK, all of you, when you come into events like hackathons and stuff in the UK or in Europe, let me know, I'll see you there. I'm actually at HackConf uh, this weekend, this weekend in, in Bulgaria. So who's, who's joining me there this weekend? We will be uh, vlogging the event and we will be hopefully a bit of live streaming too. Let's do a pull request, right? So if anyone needs any help with a pull request, let me know, put a link to the repo or the issue that you want to do. And if you need any help, we can give you a hand. But let's have a look. This is GDG in Tangier. And um, this guy, can't remember his name, sorry if you're watching, uh, asked uh, to make a contribution to his project. I thought, yeah, why not, let's do it. So let's have a look. This is how simple. You can pick any project, really. Just my honest opinion is just to get started. It really, really is just to get started. And because uh, no matter how good a project is, there's going to be improvements. If you're looking at one of my projects on my GitHub page, feel free to contribute to any of my projects. They all need help. Even the ones that I think are like super cool and super awesome, I'm sure there's 101 improvements you can make. And even if you're unsure, if it's an easy improvement, just make it. Worst case is the pull request gets closed, but it still counts as a contribution on GitHub. I think this year for, uh, uh, for Hacktoberfest, uh, only accepted pull requests are um, to count to your four. But that's the worst case. But if it's a bigger piece of work, I would highly recommend raising an issue before doing the work because the, uh, the project uh, owner or author or maintainer might not want that contribution. And so it's a real shame to do that effort and that work if it's not something they're gonna keep. So looking at this project, it looks pretty good. You know, they've got some nice logos at the top. They've got the badges, I love the badges. We're gonna get some dashboard hub badges up there soon. And uh, you know, they've got documentation, it looks really good. But when I was having a flick through, I noticed that this is color coded, which is great. But I think there's one down here that isn't. So this one isn't, um, it looks like Jason to me. So I thought we could because they've, I think I saw another JSON one maybe. Maybe I didn't. So I was just gonna make that as a contribution. I don't know if it's um, needed. Let's have a, have a quick look. I don't even need to clone the project. I can do it straight via GitHub and I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how to do that. But let's have a quick look first. 
So before I go to edit the file, let's have a look at the raw, because if I go to edit, it will make a fork. I, I might not want to make the fork. Oh, I could be completely wrong here. So let's have a look. If I click on raw, let's have a look at the, the raw. So this is, this is the raw readme, it's just markdown, and you can see the HTML ones do have the HTML mark to mark, what's the word, HTML tag, so that it gets color coded. If I scroll down to the JSON, so it's got a JavaScript one. Let's have a look. JavaScript, JavaScript, fine. And there we go, this one hasn't got a JSON one. So let's add it. You know what, I'm gonna go back a, a, a page, not a tab, page, and I'm gonna hit edit. This is all without cloning the project. It's already made a fork now into my um, my GitHub account, and now we can scroll down. We can go find that, and let's let's add it, and just say JSON, and then we can. I must have a look and just see if there's any others. There's a JSON one down here, but the one up there was missing it. Again, that's adding value to the project. It's keeping consistent, it's making it easier to read in the README. So before I commit that, let's just preview changes. Let's have a look. Scroll down, and it was the first JSON one. So that's the, oh, that doesn't look good. Maybe that isn't JSON. Oh yes, because it's not quoted. Hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Interesting. Okay, it's just a data in this variable, I guess. Well, maybe we could put JavaScript on it. Maybe it will be highlighted a bit better and look a bit nicer. Let's have a look. But you know, if it's not, if it doesn't make sense, then it doesn't make sense. But you know, we, we tried. Let's have a look. Suggestions are, are welcome and um, so if I'm, I'm making a big mess of this, then uh, yeah, let me know in the chat how I can improve it and so forth. So scrolling down, not that one. It was the first one, which was, here we go. Yeah, it's highlighted a bit better. I don't know if it's correct, but we can say that in the pull request, right? We can raise it. I think it adds value because it will be a JavaScript object rather than JSON. I think it's highlighted a bit better. You can see the strings are now highlighted differently. And if it was a number in there, again, it will probably be highlighted differently. I think that's better than being kind of plain text. So I'm gonna contribute that. Worst case, doesn't it get accepted? But I feel it adds value. So let's scroll to the bottom. Um, added, I hate the word added because it's clear from the pull request it's been added. So let's have a look. I'm gonna do this and I'll look at the chat and look at your, your questions. Bear with me one second. So I didn't raise an issue. And usually I highly recommend raising an issue, but I want to be lazy. Let's just, let's just do this. Let's live life dangerously and see what happens. JavaScript markdown tag added to docs. In the description, we, uh, now we can propose it in, in the pull request when I create it. So if I propose that, uh, and then we can say it might not be correct. Don't feel like you have to accept it. So this is just going to show me the changes and actually we can, um, I can put a link to the stream and say where we did it. So it's gonna go from, it's already pre-filled, it's on GitHub, it's really easy. It's already created a branch patch one from my forked version of the repo, and it's gonna go to their master, which is their default branch. So um, I noticed that the um, JavaScript object was plain text and thought it would be easier to read if it was highlighted. Done as part of my live stream here. Don't feel uh, like you have to accept it. Don't feel, uh, please, you know what? They can make their own decision. You know what? Let's do it, create. Connor, long time no see. I just saw your message pop up. Okay, so I've created that, and that's another pull request done for my Hacktoberfest. Again, like I said, I think it has to be accepted this year, but if you do a few extra, then you're definitely gonna get your, your swag and you're gonna meet that criteria. So let me, let me catch up on the chat. So what have we got? Um, what's your opinion on competitive coding? Do you think it carries weight for someone who are already experienced? Really good question, and I say that because Andrew and me have been talking about this for quite a few days, even weeks now actually, about, oh, it got merged already. So awesome. Look at that, another pull request to my Hacktoberfest. I need to get all of you getting your pull requests up today and hopefully merge soon. It can be merged as fast as it was now, this is awesome. So thank you very much for accepting that if you're, if you're watching. Um, but again, have a look. It seems like a very inclusive project 
and very responsive. So have a look and see if there's any other. Oh, I have noticed one thing that is actually a bit more of a contribution than a silly documentation change that I made. I know it's silly, but if you made that contribution to my project, I'd really appreciate it. So I know people will be little, those sorts of contributions, but I don't. So in any of my projects on my GitHub uh, page, I'll put that. I'll put a link to my GitHub uh, in the chat, or to Dashboard Hub, any of those projects, Dashboard Hub organization on GitHub, there's a few projects under there. If you see any improvements, typos, documentation, spacing, just to make it more consistent, feel free to raise that. So, um, yes, what I was say, one thing I did notice, dist isn't usually committed. However, it's a library, not a project, so maybe it should be. What do you all think? I would usually not have this committed, and I would have CI build it and put it as a release. But yeah, okay, I'll leave that. I'll let you all make a decision on that. Let me catch up with the chat. So, competitive coding. So Andrew and me have another channel, and I'll put a link to, to that as well. I've just hit my stream deck, hope that comes through correctly. Um, uh, hey Venkatesh, how you doing? How's India? A lot warmer than here, I bet. So another YouTube channel, which is the wrong, the old link, it has got a nicer link now, called Code Mortals. And we want to do more competitive coding on there. If anyone saw the stream from last night, you'll see what a disaster it was. We tried to do competitive coding with Code Wars, and it was very academic. And you could see Andrew and me are 30 years, or not have, yeah, have 30 years experience between us. And yesterday we struggled on the basic level. So I highly recommend you do not watch that stream, and that's not me trying to do reverse psychology or anything like that. It was horrendous. We even debated deleting it, but don't tell Andrew I said that, because it might you know, kill me. So it was a terrible stream, we really struggled. So competitive programming, I think it's fun, and it's something we want to do on Code Mortals, and Andrew's got some ideas on, on that. Um, ah, Hussein, thanks for uh, accepting the pull request so quickly as well, really appreciate it. I uh, know I've missed some things in the chat, I'm gonna come back to those, don't worry. So we are interested in doing some competitive programming on the Code Mortals channel, and we want to, for Andrew and me to start that and then to get other people involved. But what's the best way to do that? So we don't know, and I'm really interested in your feedback. Uh, have a think and let us know on here or on the Code Mortals channel. Um, let us know what you think. Code Wars didn't work for us. We thought of maybe making a game where you have to code your, um, your character. But again, it's a lot of work for maybe something that's not gonna be very good. So, have a think, let us know. Let me catch up uh, with the chat. So, um, we've got people from UK, India, India again, where else have I got to? So, but, but interested to know actually, why do you think, why, why do you ask the question about competitive programming? Is it for a job interview? Is it for a hackathon? Um, I love hackathons. I have, and I think it's good to have a, a level of competitiveness, but I still like a hackathon that's quite collaborative when they haven't got a huge first prize. Because if you have a huge first prize, people become dicks. Can I say that on the stream? I don't know. People become idiots um, and they'll oust you from your own team if you kind of go for lunch for too long or something like that. So I think it's good to have a bit of competition, but still keep it friendly. And that's what more hackathons are like nowadays. I think companies have realized it's nice to have a prize of say, I don't know, one, two, ten thousand dollars or euros or pounds for people in the UK, but nothing bigger than that because then people become idiots, really. So, yeah, Hussein merged it, loved it, it was so quick. So, awesome, thanks everyone saying, for joining and saying hi. So, what other pull requests can we do? What other pull requests can you do? Enough about me, what can you do? Let's have a look. So, has anyone got any open source projects where they want some contributions to? Drop a link in the chat and let's have a look. So, um, this repo is looking really good. Um, I can't see anything that, that jumps out. I might put this in um, uh, inline code because I think it's easier to read. Does anyone want to contribute that? Like I said, it might not get accepted. I'm not responsible for accepting that, but Give it a go, it's a really easy change. You know what, someone's gonna do that. Someone in the chat, the first person in the chat to say me can get to do that and I won't make the change. And I can walk you through it. I can show you how, how I would do it if you need to, but I won't hit submit, I'll let you get that open source pull request. I'm, so, I'm sure Hussein will merge it really quickly and then you'll get another pull request for um, Hacktoberfest. 
So I've missed out some names, and I've purposely done that, not because I'm trying to be an idiot, but because I can't pronounce some names. I can't even pronounce my wife's name after 20 years. It's, I say Sarah, but it's actually Sarah, and uh, people think I'm a bit weird because I've pronounced her name wrong, but after 20 years, she stopped correcting me. So I really apologize. Like I can do Christopher, uh, Pratik, AJ, I can only pronounce. Jonah, I know, so it's easier to pronounce. Uh, Alicia. That pronounced uh, Alicia? I think so. I'm really sorry if it gets wrong. Um, Connor, Hussein, look, thanks all for joining. Uh, Rajet, I can pronounce that. Venkatesh, we've chatted on a few calls and talked about open source, so I can get your name right. Rajeth, did I pronounce, did I say that one already? No, I didn't. Um, and we have from Lebanon, I'm gonna pronounce your name so wrong. This is why I don't, I don't like mentioning people's names, but I love to give people a shout out because I really appreciate you being here. It's, it's great, a stream wouldn't be the same without you watching and you're chatting, so I really do appreciate it. Um, Le 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 oh my God, I can't pronounce the name. I'm not even gonna try, this is really bad. How can I edit this out of a stream? I should do videos more because then I can edit my own mess ups. So, um, Venkatesh, thanks for the positive support, love it. So, no one has written me. So does no one want to make this change? Just putting two, a back tick at the beginning uh, before the, the carrot, the hat, and then a back tick at the end. Does no one want to do it? I'll, I'll do it, I'll make the change. But I'm thinking you want to get the open source pull request and you have to, and one more to your Oktoberfest. Let me know, if not, I'll do it. My name. Oh, KPC, I can pronounce KPC. I can do that. I'm guessing that's not your name. I'm not pronouncing the second part because that looks a lot harder. So if no one wants that, I'll make the change. It's cool, I'm good. Edit. You still got time to stop me. Let's have a look. Back tick. Back tick. That's the change. Can you speak print? I'm also from India. Can I speak print? I don't get that. I can say it's print. I don't know about speak print. Okay, I'm gonna commit this if no one wants this. Uh, made. Um, version number more readable. Me, Venkatesh. Oh, you just got in there just before I hit that propose. Okay, it's yours. You know how to do this. You've done so many open source contributions, so you know how to do this. I won't, um, I won't hit propose file. What I will do is I go to pull requests. I'm gonna leave the page. I go to pull requests. And I wanna see your pull requests in two minutes. Go, go, go. It's really easy for you, I know you can do this. And while you're doing that, I'm gonna read the chat. So let's have a look, what have we got? Um, what did Andrew say? Competitive coding is great, I think, so as long as it's done from the outset for fun. Uh, some tasks you will be strong, other tasks you'll be weak. Uh, everyone, in the, in the, everyone brings something different to the team. It's so true. The hackathons that Andrew and me have won is where Andrew's done all the work and I've done nothing. Oh, I might as well to say that. Sorry, let me, let me bend the truth a little bit. It's where we... <laughs> no, I'm joking. It's where we had a mix of people, right? So Andrew and me were the coders in the team, and then we had other people in the team who were either designers, UX, who did user testing, or completely different. We've had a voice actor, actress in our team before, and she went and talked to other people. Um, and it really helps during hackathons because it doesn't just help your technical skills and your soft skills. It really helps your presentation skills, and it helps so many other things too, so I cannot recommend enough to go to hackathons. And obviously subscribe to my channel because then you can come with me to hackathons. So if you aren't physically there, I will be vlogging all the hackathons that I go to and other tech events and meetups, and then you can join me there. And maybe I can get more into more live streaming the events if that also helps. It's just hard to manage the stream uh, as well as um, kind of record and chat to people and so forth. But Yes, subscribe, and then that way you can decide if you want to join me physically at the event or if you want to join me virtually at the event. Um, uh, let's see what else we've got. Um, my opinion, uh, some knowledge on theory is good, but I wasn't sure uh, return on investment is very high for the amount of time spent. But I wanted to hear from someone who has a lot of industry experience, and I go by Robin. Okay, Robin is easier, I can pronounce Robin. Um, so that's a really good question. Like I said, Andrew and me do have a lot of experience, we have 15 years each. And, you, and if you saw the stream yesterday, which I recommend you don't do, we really struggled. And because it's not doing a lot of the 
uh, what do you call it, academic challenges. I think it's good to start off at the beginning, but it's not practical. I would rather still have someone that's more practical than someone who's really good at the academic side, but in reality they can't build a real project because you don't want to do academic things for a project for a client. Um, so it doesn't make sense. But I think it's good to have a bit of a bit of a mix. Any spare time you've got, do something technical. Even, even if you just enjoy it, like making a game, then just do that because you'll learn other skills around it. And I think that's really, really important just to do something. You know, forget watching Netflix. Like it's good to have downtime, don't get me wrong, but don't try and binge watch Netflix. Try and do some other, st other stuff as well. Uh, Venkatesh, I refreshed the page. How's it going? I've refreshed. There's no pull request yet. So uh, what else have we got? What else I missed in the chat? Uh, don't forget, uh, share your uh, open source projects in the chat and then we'll go take a look and see what contributions I can make or what contributions other people you can make. Come on, Andrew, Jonah, Venkatesh, where are your open source projects? I know you've got loads. I'll, I'll search for you on GitHub. I will. Don't make me search for you. I'll find it and I'll make some contributions and we'll get everyone else making contributions. So uh, currently I'm learning Git and uh, when I become an expert at it, I'll do my first pull request with you only. Don't wait until you're an expert. I've been using Git for maybe what? I don't know, seven years? As a guess, around seven years. I'm not an expert. Because Git is enormous and it keeps growing every version, adding new functionality. And so it's kind of, I get 80% benefit by using 20% of Git. So probably I only know like 20% of Git, if that. But I get 80% of the benefit. So I wouldn't wait till you're an expert. And you can just use the GitHub UI. If you want me to use the command line now to show you how to make a contribution, I can. I can fork a project, I can clone it on the command line, and I can do that. Um, so, or someone else might want to share some commands and some steps in the chat. By all means, do that. Or create a repo and, and put some steps, like documentation steps, just, just in a readme file. And uh, we can all have a look at that and get your GitHub accounts and more publicity. So just keep thinking about sharing the knowledge you know. And no matter how little you think you know, there's somebody else who knows less than you. So if you're only even like a month into your development journey, there's someone who's where you were a month ago who's just thinking about getting into it. So just share, document everything you can. Um, be it on GitHub Open Source. I think you should do everything. You need to diversify, but on GitHub Open Source, it should be on social media, on YouTube, on whatever it is, everything. Just just do it. I cannot recommend it enough. My regret with my YouTube channel is not starting sooner. I started about just over a year ago, a year and a half ago. I wish I started six years ago when I thought about it. So Venkatesh, let hit refresh. How's it going? Venkatesh, where's the where's the pull request? Uh, what else have we got? Um, uh, looks like a... Uh, a stream on how to use Git is needed some time. Andrew, let's do it. I wonder if we could do a game around, a, a coding competitive game around Git. Andrew, taking your idea around a text-based game, could you try and get your branch, I say echo, branch up before it conflicts with somebody else's so they get the conflict and they have to resolve it? Mm, that's something we talk about. A game based around Git, and then if you're slower, then yeah, you have to resolve the conflicts or something, which makes you even slower. Something like that, I don't know, have a think. We'll let that kind of, you know, uh, simmer a bit and, and uh, need some work. Uh, so please send me the repo link. Okay, here you go, Venkatesh. Let's do it. I'm counting down, I need two minutes on the timer. Someone time two minutes. If it's not done, I'm gonna do it. There you go, competitive programming, right? <laughs> uh, what else have we got? Um, the commands you, uh, to use are not many, so getting started with Git is not too bad. Um, yeah, that's so true. Which framework should we learn for JavaScript? Raj, I say Angular. I, I've done React, I haven't done Vue, so I can't, I hear it's really good, so I can't, I can't comment on that. Uh, maybe Hussein, or who, whose project's on the screen now. Um, I'm just going to go back to my this project. If anyone wants to practice their Hacktoberfest pull request, they can look at this repo. I'll just leave it on the screen now. Um, but yeah, Angular is a framework, whereas React is the library. So if you're doing a small project, um, React is probably okay. It makes sense. But if you're doing, I don't know, a bigger project, yeah, Angular makes more sense. It's a full framework. It's got more better conventions. or well, more conventions. You don't have to bring in a whole 
bunch of third party libraries and you will want different libraries to me and all the rest as Angular has just got everything inside. So that's my recommendation. I think it's just as easy to learn as, as React. There is more to it, but there is more to Git than there is than the SVN, but it doesn't mean you don't use Git. So, um, but you just learn a bit as you go along. So I highly recommend that. And we will be doing some more Angular streams on the Code Mortals channel. So what else have we got? Um, <laughs> The King blog, I started learning two days ago. Well, you're already doing really well for multiple reasons. One, you're learning Git at, you know, early on in your career, which is great. And two, you're here on my stream, and hopefully I've said some things that might give you some benefits. And if not, ask me some questions, and I will hopefully give you some more benefits. So I really appreciate that. I think early on in my career, I wish I'd done, you know, not, not just done YouTube, but consume content on YouTube. I think it's great for networking as well as learning skills, and I think it's really important. Uh, a framework's nice, helps assist complex solutions. However, for learning, start with core parts. Yeah, ES6 is uh, really useful um, to learn the core parts of JavaScript and stuff is, is really nice. Um, what else have we got? Yeah, and TypeScript. TypeScript! See, I know you can use TypeScript with React, but Angular, the documentation, everything is in TypeScript. Like, it's, it's, it's just baked into its DNA. And TypeScript is so freaking awesome. Let me show you some TypeScript. And all the Java people out there will, will love this. Oh, I can't spell TypeScript. So on the TypeScript website, you have a playground area, and you can get to see TypeScript. So let's just go to examples. Oh, let's change this. Okay, but if you do, like, I don't know, objects and array, well, that's a lot more. So on the right, you get the, Java, uh, the JavaScript. On the left, you get the TypeScript. But when you're writing this code, you, you get autocomplete. You know what a type is. So if you use a uh, user account later, when you kind of go dot, you know what's available. Whereas in JavaScript, it's like, nah, don't know what I have. So And you can still do JavaScript within TypeScript. So you get the best of both worlds. Highly recommend TypeScript. And we can do a stream on that if that really helps. Andrew and me have been meaning to do streams on Angular, I will do some videos as well on Angular, Firebase, TypeScript, Cypress automated testing, and those sorts of things. So let us know. Um, uh, yeah, cool. What else have we got? Uh, let me know the change I have to make. Thank you, Tesh. I showed you the change. Okay, I'll show you again. It's cool. So all I was suggesting was, which I've now kind of lost my change, but we can make it again. It's really simple. So what I was suggesting is on Firebase on the actual uh, dependency version to put single back ticks around it so that it just stands out, it's just punchier. So just the inline, single back ticks, back ticks. So I kind of speak English now. Um, so it just stands out a bit more. I think you know version numbers and those sorts of things should really be in an inline code block. Unless there's multiple ones and you do it as a full code block. But um, yeah, uh, please put it up for download. Um, Uh, just, I'm getting a bit behind in the chat. Let's have a look. Andrew, thank you very much for uh, replying to some of those questions. That's really awesome. Um, so thank you, Tej. Hopefully that helps. Let's, uh, let's have a look. So uh, I had trouble understanding Git in the beginning. We all did. Christopher, we all did. Absolutely. It's great to be truthful, right? When people say, hey, day one, I was a Git expert. Like, yeah, whatever. So I uh, came across a program, uh, Git Kraken, uh, and that helps loads get him head around concept. Nice, thanks for the recommendation. I haven't tried it, but if someone recommends it, I recommend everyone to have a look and give it a go. Different things work for different people. It's like live streams or videos on YouTube. Some people might not like watching my videos and some people might love it and might not like somebody else's. So you just gotta find what works for you. And the only way you're gonna find what works for you is just by trying stuff. So people who are watching, and uh, if you want to learn Git, give that a go, as recommended by Christopher. So thank you very much. Uh, that sounds unfair. Uh, but you do it to me all the time, pushing up bad code, so I have to fix it. That's how it works. I thought I'd break stuff and you fix it. It's just, you know, it's just standard, right? Um, yeah. yeah, some of our earlier streams a couple of months ago on the Code Mortals YouTube channel, which I want to share again by hitting this button. I'll just hit the button. Love hitting the buttons on Stream Deck. I've got some other buttons to do. I'll just hit one more. It's the share uh, link. Um, yeah, you just see Andrew did all the work and I did all the talking and it kind of turned into the Eddie show. But, you know, we all work to our strengths. So what else have we got? Um, uh, Evangelist is open an issue instead of a pull request. Um, to be honest, I think it's actually really good to open an issue first and then you can just check that the project maintainer is happy to accept it. But if it's something really small, 
um, I don't always open an issue, I just might open the pull request. But then I can't tie the commit and the pull request to an issue. So Venkatesh is actually, I think, is doing it right. Let's have a quick, uh, quick look. So he's got, um, edit the, the version title. So, um, and then when you do the commit, uh, you can put at the front like hash 42 and then put a link back. So when you go into the issue, underneath the, um, uh, the, kind of the title and the body, it will say this commit was against this. And then I recommend in the pull request, when you create a new pull request, which I can't do, no, I haven't got anything to do, so I can't do that. But um, if I, I won't create an issue, but I'll pretend this is a pull request. At the top, you say closes like 42, and then in the pull request, when it gets merged, it will automatically close it. So I highly recommend doing that. Um, please put it up for download. Uh, Sirijan, what am I putting up for? Uh, yeah, hopefully I pronounced your name right. Really apologize if I don't, it didn't. Um, what am I putting up for download? Um, yo bro, you helped me a lot. Cool, thanks for the positive feedback, I love it. Uh, what are the main advantages of TypeScript? I haven't looked yet. So Connor, great question. TypeScript has types. I might have answered this before and maybe I'm a bit behind in the chat, so apologies, but I think it's really important that TypeScript has types. So if you've got, um, let's go back to the, the playground. So here you've got um, the user account and then later on when you want to use it, this has a, has a type. Um, and this type here will be inferred by the actual object that is created and you can be specific depending on how TypeScript is set up with the project, you can be more strict or less strict. I prefer it really strict. So in this case, I would have to um, put, uh, create a type or create a model or you know, specifically write it here and say type string like that um, with spaces for easier reading. So um, yeah, it's, it's really good. And so when you're using like, if you're using uh, user accounts, if I scroll down, I can't see what the definition of user account is or if I'm in a different file. But when I go to use it, I can go dot. And I go, oh, I've got ID, I've got name. And it says, oh, this is, a, I'll get back a, a string, a number, sorry. And if I go down to name, you can see I get back a string. The people who have done Java will, will really appreciate and get that. And it just helps so much, especially when you're working with multiple people. It's not like Java where at runtime it will cause an issue, there's only at like, development time, but it does really, really help. I'm doing terrible on the chat today, maybe because I'm talking too much. Andrew, is this turning into the Eddie show again? Right, let's have a look. Uh, anyway, Connor, I hope that answers your, your question about, about TypeScript. Anyone else, feel free to jump in and answer and give your tips of why you prefer TypeScript or why you don't prefer it. I think it's important to see both sides of the story. So let's have a look. Um, hey, I'm a newbie, this is uh, Guggen. I'm a newbie, a little, uh, uh, I know a little bit of React. How can I contribute to Hacktoberfest? So, Gargan, thanks for joining. Um, React, there's loads of React projects. Not, you don't necessarily have to contribute to React itself, and it'd probably be quite hard to, being such a big and established project. I think it's a goal to work towards. But if you're learning React, look at some other React projects, sorry, and other projects that are using React. There are loads out there. And just try and make some little contributions. Start off with documentations or adding some automated tests and then look into doing features. Uh, or if you wanna jump straight into features, then do that depending on the project, depending on your level of experience and your confidence, but just do something. I cannot recommend enough to all of you watching, just do something. If it's right or wrong, it doesn't matter. There is no wrong, really. The worst case is, doesn't get accepted. I wanna prove it to you. Can someone please do a really bad pull request on this Hacktober practice? Blah, 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 blah. Hacktober practice project. And I'll show you the worst case that will happen. So, I'm gonna put the link in here. Someone click on that, please, and do a really silly pull request that I'm not gonna, clearly not gonna accept. Like, just delete the whole file, like delete a file, or go into readme and hit edit, and then just type in some gibberish and make a pull request. I will show you the worst thing that can happen. I'll just end up closing it. That's not so bad. So someone write open source in the chat to say they're gonna do the contribution. Or if there's more than one of you, that's also fine. Um, but I just wanna show you that it doesn't matter. So please make a contribution to this repo that is really silly, really stupid. And I'll show you it's not so bad. So I really highly recommend just always making contributions. While you're doing that, I'm gonna have a read. So what else have we got? Um, camera went dark. Oh. 
That is not good. That is interesting. Thank you very much. How long ago did it go dark? I mean, you know, chatting to myself for a while. Hmm. Is my camera. I've just bashed something with a mic. Technical issues. I need a technical issue screen. The camera has turned off, and has it because it's overheated, or because battery went flat? It was on 100%. Um, hmm. Okay, that is interesting. Apologies for the technical issue, but then, you know, this is tech. We have technical issues and challenges all the time. I think it's just part and parcel of the, the fun. Let's have a look. I'll probably, let's have a look. It's turned on, and what's the battery life? Let's have a look. Battery life's all right. I think it just overheated. So, are we back? How's my hair? Andrew will give me a PR. Thank you, Andrew. So, you think my open source in the chat? Hopefully that's better now. I think the green screen kind of lighting is a bit bodged up. Oh, I'm really bodging it up now. Let's have a look. Okay, that's a bit better. We're kind of back to normal. If it turns off again, please let me know in the chat. I will try and keep an eye on one of my other screens. I do have like, um, like four screens here, huge screens. So, uh, yes. So, Andrew's doing the PR, great. Anyone else wants to do a PR just for practice? Just submit it. Good or bad, doesn't matter. Right, okay, um, what have we got? Your camera went dark, you probably overheated again. It did, I, I should have used the other camera. Um, yes, it overheated. Um, I think it was the camera, Andrew, not the actual adapter, but we can look at other adapters so we can get loads more cameras, right? We have a bit more, more interesting. So, um, oh, you've merged Venkatesh's pull request. Thank you very much, Hussein. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at that, where are we? Too many tabs open. So, it's already gone in. So the this could be closed. Let me see. Venkatesh, you did not put updated readme. Venkatesh, we know you've updated it because we can see it in the pull request. Oh, and you lost the hat. Hmm, I'm gonna do a pull request now. Let's have a look. I'm going to, uh, maybe you want the hat lost, I don't know. You can close my PR if you don't want it. Again, it just shows you the kind of community collaboration contribution. So I'm gonna create an issue. Uh, let's have a look. Um, adding, no, that's terrible. Adding and updating is stupid words to use. Eddie! Right. Uh, this is harder than you think, right? So, let me think. Anyone can help me here? Let's have a look. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up in the uh, on the live stream. It really helps me if you're enjoying the, the stream. So, can't think what to call it. I'm not gonna write updating the readme. I just said that wasn't very good. <laughs> version number, no, Firebase dependency version number, uh, version number, Improvements, not improvements. Everything's going to be an improvement, Eddie. Taking a really bad example here. Firebase dependency version number. Okay, I'll leave it at that. Right. Um, I'm not going to really have closes. And I'm just going to submit it. And then what I'm going to do next. So that's got number 44. So I'm going to go to uh, here. And I'm going to edit the README. Oh, I'm gonna bring my mic back over a little bit. Hopefully it wasn't too quiet for you. Uh, hopefully it's not gonna be in the, in the stream. There we go. So uh, I'm gonna put the, the hat back in, or the carrot, however you wanna call it. Um, and then I'm gonna submit that. But what I'm gonna do here, I'm not gonna have update readme. This default on GitHub is one of my kind of gripes because everyone just uses it. I don't think it's that great. So I'm gonna put the number, I think it was 44. Hopefully it was. And I'm gonna say, um, kind of similar to the issue, what I changed. It was uh, Firebase dependency version number, version number. And then when I go to propose the file, okay, thank you, Andrew, for your PR. We will, uh, I'll go look at that in a second. Look at my change, I'm happy with that. And here I want to say closes, can't spell closes, closes 44. And then when it's done, if, if and when this does get merged, then it will close my issue because at the moment, the other, issue, the other issue is still open. So you can see 
uh, Venkatesh's is still there, but when mine gets merged, it should automatically get closed. It saves the project maintainer from closing it manually themselves and, or forgetting about it, and then it just hangs around and someone else might end up trying to fix it, thinking it's still a valid um, issue. So let me catch up with the chat. Uh, what else have we got? Um, could be battery too. Yeah, it wasn't the battery this time. So uh, thanks for merging, took a bit of time to get set up on a laptop. Fair enough, Venkatesh, but thank you very much for doing that as an example. I think it's really good. So there is no wrong. There is no wrong. You know, no matter what you do, the worst case is someone puts a comment on the PR. Like, so if I go to, um, I got merged already, and you can see the issue got closed. So if I go to the closed issue, just to show you how it all ties together, um, underneath now, it will have my, my commit. And so it'll have my commit here. It says I'm verified. And it also has the PR. It just ties the issues and the PRs all together, which is great. And um, the other thing I was going to show, if I go to pull requests again, and I say I go to close pull requests, um, the project maintainer could write uh, in line and say, like, I want to add this now, um, the, I can't spell the, I still can't spell the, the hat or carrot uh, has been removed, question mark. Uh, I have created PR45 to add this back in. So, okay, this is kind of a pointless comment now because the PR's been merged and my PR's been merged, but you can kind of say I've created an issue rather than PR and it all just ties it together. And if the if this PR hadn't been accepted, then Venkatesh should go and make an update, another commit, and you know update it. And that's how you collaborate on, on work uh, all the time. I've got some more PRs to review on Dashboard Hub if uh, you want to see me review some PRs and put some comments in. Um, Kush, uh, who does so many awesome pull requests to the Dashboard Hub project, um, you can see most pull requests are from her. So if I go to the main Dashboard Hub project, this is my, my startup, if I go to the main Dashboard Hub project, you'll see I've probably got like, loads of pull requests from Kush. I'm really sorry, Kush, if you're watching. This is it, Web Kush. She does so, so many. These are all from her. So I've got so many to review this week. and. Uh, Yes, um, and we have, we have chats on them, we have comments on them. So you can see this has got five comments. And you know, it's great to just have that back and forth. I guess it's out of date, out of date, and out of date now, she's done the update. So I can kind of say resolve and just remove it from the timeline. And we have that, uh, that chat back and forth. And so many times I, I write something and I put a comment in and she'll make me aware of something else and I learn something. So by adding a comment, it's not about being right, it's about just having that knowledge transfer. So it's really important. I learned so much by, by her working on, on my project and making contributions and um, just having those conversations back and forth. So even if you're a bit too nervous to make a contribution to a project, look at the open PRs and put comments on it to other people just saying, oh, why have you done it like this? What about doing it like this? Or just ask the question and be really nice about it. And usually they'll, they'll write back as you saw me comment on Venkatesh's pull request, um, you can comment on other people's and they'll answer your questions if you need help. So if they've done something, sorry, and you're not sure why they've done it that way, ask. Most people who have submitted pull requests want to share why they've submitted it and how they've done it that way. So I need to do a video on that. I'll do another video next week. I need to do a video on another way to learn about open source is to comment on and review other, so other open source pull requests. Right, let me catch up with this chat. It's over here. So, um, Connor, I hope that helped. Oh, I missed a few. TypeScript, uh, compiled, uh, compiled time syntax errors, uh, mostly the latest, ben uh, the benefits are the latest um, ECMCA script techniques, um, types and classes and stuff. Uh, Venkatesh, you're welcome. Thank you very much for your pull request. I think it created a really good discussion. Love it. Really good. It's always the Eddie show. Thanks, Andrew. Yes, it is. I'm always talking too much and not enough coding. That's just like standard day for us, right? Me talking and Andrew coding. I work with Andrew, by the way, if anyone doesn't realize. Uh, so what else we got? Um, is that, oh yeah, Andrew has done this repo. So let's go have a look at this, right? So we've got two, two pull requests in. Oh, quite a few. Awesome. This is great. Awesome. Thank you so much. It's brilliant. So hopefully the camera doesn't overheat just yet. 
Uh, what else have we got? Um, and just give me a PR, we'll review that in a second, let me just catch up with the chat. There's a major lag between the video and the chat. Uh, send me this message when the camera came back up so you can, oh, uh, we see. Yeah, the chat, there is another option when streaming to make the chat, I think, and the stream faster, but there are some downsides. We'll give it a go next time, let's try it. So, uh, Chris, Christopher, thank you very much for pointing it out, we'll give that a go. I must remember to try that next time. Hotfix Firebase dependency version number. Ah, oh, Venkatesh, that was for my, um, uh, my my issue or pull request name. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm, I need I need another person to help me uh, with the chat. Like I have headphones in, and they can shout at me. Eddie, you missed something really important in the chat because that would have yeah been really helpful. Uh, most interactive live chat I've been to. Raj, thank you very much for your positive feedback. I love it. Keep chatting in the chat. It's just a way for you to learn and you to give back to the community. And even if you're new to the community or new to de coding, development, tech, it's just such a great way to get involved. PR done, the video has about 20, 30 seconds delay, right. Uh, I always add, uh, make a commit to my projects. It's really bad, it's like I add, I add a function to do something, for example. Yeah, if it's your project, you can kind of do what you want, but then when other people want to contribute to your project, they will kind of follow the same technique. So you really want to set a good example. Um, that's what I do when I'm going to contribute to a project, try and look at the history and see how they've done stuff. And I kind of do do a similar, a similar sort of thing. So if you had, if I see that sort of thing in the history, I'll be a bit lazy in making an effort. So, uh, yeah. Um, depends on Connor, the adopt conventional changelog. Changelog, look it up, it's awesome. Uh, I'm not gonna read out Andrew's message because I, I, I know it's gonna be right and conventional changelog is awesome. Uh, nice work, Andrew, it's about uh, people knowing the truth from Steve Jobs. Oh, I think I missed something there. Um, uh, I'll be waiting for the Angular videos and live chat on that. Thanks for the interaction. Awesome. See, Andrew, we got people wanting Angular live streams. We need to do that. I know we want to create a game as well. Maybe we should create, um, uh, what's the word? Uh, a poll, that's the word. And see if people want Angular or people want a game or coding competition or something. See what people want. And I can't do that here. I can do that with some other YouTube integration. Andrew, we have to think about that and see. Uh, cool. Devish. Hi, Devish, thanks for joining. Where are you calling from? You're not calling from. Where are you dialing in from? You're not dialing in either. Where are you chatting from? Um, I love to hear where people come from all around the world. So well, let me look at some of these PRs. So we've got a few, quite a few. Um, add text file. Hi, added text file, peace. Cool. So if I look at this, hi there, I'm new to open source, but by contributing and joining though, peace. So I'm not gonna accept that. Thank you very much for the pull request, but I'm not going to accept it because I did ask for pull request that I wouldn't accept to show an example that it's not the end of the world if it doesn't get accepted. And also, just make any contribution. The This is the worst case that will happen. I'll say, thank you very much for the pull request. Unfortunately, um, uh, I, I feel it... Um, uh, unfortunately, I feel it does not fit into the project at this time. You know, something polite, I put a geeky face at the end. Oh, can't spell geeky face. Nerd. That's me, I'm a nerd. Um, I want to close and comment. So, you know what? That's the worst thing that can happen. So just submit a pull request, even if you think you're not right. Um, I just think it's fine. Hello, Java world. Here we go. Here's another one. So let's have a look. Um, oh, these are eight days ago. Um, oh, these are old. Okay, you know what? I'll just say the same again. Um, please add your name to the repo, uh, to the readme. Learn Markdown. It's really, uh, really useful to do stuff like this. Please add your name to the readme um, for your pull request to be accepted. Right? Not the end of the world. No harm. So let's go to the next one. You you cannot go wrong making a PR. Exactly, Robin, thank you very much. So, yes, National Anthem, great. Okay, I'm not gonna accept that. Um, I'm gonna close it. And Robin, please let everyone know in the chat that you're still alive. That by me closing this pull request, it's not the end of the world. So thank you so much for that. Um, great. Actually, I'm going to copy the stream link and I can say it's from the stream as well. So, great example of uh, making a pull request. 
that does not get accepted is not the end of the world. So always put in bold, always make a pull request. Done on the live stream. There we go. Closing comment. Brilliant. Robin, let everyone know in the chat you're still alive. Please, hopefully you're still here on the stream because if you've kind of gone and you're not hearing me say that, everyone think by me closing this pull request, I've kind of killed you. So, yes. Um, oh, so this is a Steve Jobs joke. Right, I get it now. Wow, I'm really slow. I'm generally, generally, usually quite slow. This is really slow. That's the Steve Jobs comment in the chat. Right, okay, makes sense. Steve Jobs back from the dead. Does he have an account? <laughs> Buy more from Apple. Open source is bad for your health. I'm not accepting that, Andrew, but Andrew will still be alive. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Andrew will still be alive. Thanks for this great live stream example. I've closed it. He's still alive. Andrew, you're still there, right? Pull request driven development. Yes. Excellent. Love it. So awesome. Right, Andrew's still alive, everyone's still good, everyone's still healthy. I haven't murdered your pet or anything, so just keep doing open source pull requests. Right, let me catch up on the chat. Uh, da -da -da -da. Um, <laughs> about time, all right, I get the, get the Steve Jobs about time comment now. So no one wants to watch two old people failing at a code competition. <laughs> yeah, we did fail yesterday, that was an epic fail. I'm from India, Devish, thanks for joining from India. Nice and warm over there, freaking cold here. Oh, my camera is still on. I just thought I'd have a quick look at the other screen and check my camera is still on. It's still good. Uh, I still think we can build a mass online game to teach people best practices, MMO style. We know, you know we have day jobs, Andrew. I don't know how we get time to build all that. But we need to include some random streams too to cover topics from the community. See, Robin's alive. In the chat, Robin is alive. So it's fine. Just make a contribution. Nothing can go wrong. Worst case is it gets closed. I cannot recommend that enough. PRDD now available in O'Reilly. Love it. <laughs> PRDD. We should coin that term. Let me put that in. PRDD. Love that. Awesome. So, what else would people like to see? I'm wondering if we're going to call the stream finishing soon. It was only a short stream. If you really like this, give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments after the stream. I can do more live streams. But before I go, is there uh, anything else that people would like to see, like to talk about? Um, I think it's, uh, yeah, it's really important to contribute to open source, not just for Hacktoberfest. So when Hacktoberfest finishes in October and you get your awesome swag, I'm not wearing a Hacktoberfest t-shirt, next stream, which will probably be next week, because I'm at HackConf this weekend in Bulgaria, which I'll be vlogging and live streaming, so do tune in for them. Uh, and hopefully I'll see you there. But I'll wear my last year's Hacktoberfest t-shirt. I'll do that. And uh, yeah, what else can I show you? So I will, this, this is the um, Hacktoberfest practice repo, which might be a bit easy for all of you. But also here is my uh, Dashboard Hub project, which is open source. It's written in TypeScript, Angular, and Firebase. By all means, contribute to it. I will tidy up the issues a bit, but I'm sure you'll find so many mistakes and improvements you can make. Make a contribution and let's, let's work on it. Let's do it. So uh, yes, I think I should wish you all a really good evening. Um, you've already subscribed. Awesome, thank you. Okay, I'll hit this other button. If you've already subscribed, another message should be coming in the chat now, which is share with your friends. So I've got it configured on my, on my stream deck. I can kind of hold this up here, hopefully, and you can see it. Got these different buttons. Um, so I just wanted to use them. I love using those buttons. It's kind of got like three by five, so 15 buttons. I only use like two. So that now I've used like three, so thank you very much. So, um, awesome. So, so excited to work with you after a long time. Thank you, Venkatesh. Awesome, open source. You can work with people even after they move to different projects and you can still learn from each other. I think it's really important. So it's great, but thank you so much. The reason why I wanna to get to 10K, let me explain actually. The reason why I wanna to get to 10K subscribers is because then in London I can go to the YouTube space and I can video and live stream from there. And they have don't have like green screens that are kind of small like this. They have green screen rooms. So me and Andrew can go do a live stream in an entire room and I think it'd be more fun uh, than just doing it in a kind of a meeting room in London that Andrew and me usually do it. So um, let me put my other YouTube channel up. 
Um, where are the sound effect buttons? I have got some spare buttons, so I actually should put some sound effects. Any ideas on sound effects, put in the chat. Like, do you want like explosions or, I don't know, ta-da, um, kind of sound effects. But yes, we should put some sound effects. That'd be a really good idea. So um, my other channel with Andrew is, or we also live stream probably more often on there, and we want to live stream more. But yeah, live streaming in the YouTube space would be awesome. They have like a whole bus in, in, the, in the YouTube uh, kind of space in London, and you can do a live stream from a London bus. I think that's so cool. We have so many other things, like, like I said, green rooms and all the rest. Anyway, I digress. Moral of today's story, of today's stream, contribute to open source. You just need four for Hacktoberfest, and then you can get your t-shirt, your stickers, and lots of other swag. So uh, do it. Awesome, never did a live stream. Please notify me when you're doing your next stream. Will do. Hopefully you get a GitHub. Um, GitHub. Hopefully you get um, a YouTube notification. Uh, if you click the bell, it'll give you a notification when I do a live stream. And I also usually, well, no, sometimes. Who am I kidding? Sometimes, not usually. Sometimes tweet it um, at the earlier that day or the day before on Twitter. But if not, I do tweet it when I go live. So subscribe to my Twitter too. I suggest as well. But it's awesome, Robin. Thank you for being here. Everyone else, I can't name you all. You're just too many. And you're just too awesome. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for yeah, joining me on my live stream, helping me contribute to open source, helping me show everyone that open source isn't scary. I'm hugely passionate about open source and I really believe open source is for everyone. Open source is for you. And just showing everybody by creating some pull requests that got accepted, creating pull requests that didn't get accepted. It's all fine, it's just normal, it's just part and parcel of it. So it's awesome. Thank you very much, everyone. Uh, Kush, you've been here this whole time and you haven't said hello. So as I mentioned before, Kush is doing a lot of um, open source work on the Dashboard Hub project. And uh, you can see all these pull requests that I need to review from her. She's done so much great work and I feel really bad. So I'm saying this publicly now. Let me go to a big screen. Let me hit that button on the stream deck. I'm saying this publicly now. Kush, I'm really sorry for being slow in um, reviewing your pull requests. It's Andrew's fault because I'm fixing all his work. Oh, wait a second. It's because I'm too busy breaking stuff for Andrew to fix. I need to keep him busy on, on another project Andrew and me on. So uh, yeah, Kush, I really apologize, but thank you so much for all the awesome open source pull requests. And behind me, you can see my little chibi, and you can, that's my, actually, that's my setup. That's my screen. So what I have here that you can't see, I'll probably put a camera behind me next time, is that's my setup. I have a big screen up there and like three kind of screens here. Anyway. I'm going to go because I'm mumbling now and going crazy. I look forward to seeing you on the next live stream and check out my other videos at hackathons, conferences and meetups. And if you want me to go to any events, put a comment in and let me know and I'll join you at that event and let's vlog together and let's give your open source project a shout out. Let's give you and your personal branding a shout out and let's get you the projects and the jobs and technologies that you want and that you deserve. Have a great evening, everyone, and uh, we'll catch you next time. I have a button for holding, ending, ending button. Bye.